Anthony is a flop, is the biggest bullshit I have ever heard. He got no praise when he came to the Premier League and scored three goals in his first three games, which included him scoring against Arsenal and what was a humiliating defeat to Manchester City, but he scored an absolute beautiful solo goal. Now, recently, Anthony hasn't been getting goals, he hasn't been getting assists. He has games where he's not as impactful as he should be when he is not as direct as he should be in recent times but there's reasons for all let's talk about Anthony when he came from Ajax he came from a very possession based team that had its structured system and he's coming into this United team which are still finding the way that they play they are making good steps yes but in Ajax they are a very possession based team and Tenog is trying to implement that at Manchester United and if we do have more position in the areas in which Anthony operates will get more out of him. The biggest criticism that Anthony gets is that he's always looking to cut into his left foot. He's not ever going onto the right foot. And there's, and there's two things that I have to say to this. First of all, people that say he can't be only a left-footed player, are they forgetting Mo Salah, what he's done in the Premier League for the last couple of years, he doesn't have the best right foot in the world. Are they forgetting one of the best wingers, Robin, who was so lethal on his left foot? Everyone knew exactly what he wanted to do, but there was no stopping him. And let me tell you something, when Anthony cuts inside and if you give him space to get a shot on the way, there's hardly anything you can do about it because he has a fantastic left foot with such great technical ability and you can go look at some of the goals he's already scored for Manchester United and you'll understand what type of left foot this guy has. It is good for the team to have a different dimension, to do things differently, to get the ball in different areas of the pitch such as the wide area and this is where the right back comes in which was Diego Dolo. Anthony was performing at Manchester United, the right back was Diego Dolo. Go down to the touchline and use his right foot, but what he does have is such great link up play with with full backs. And Diego Dolo and Anthony were building a perfect relationship. They had a few run of games and they were working very well together. Anthony would come inside, Diego Dolo would be that overlapping full back and offer Anthony. Um, a different option. So Anthony could slide in Diego Dolo and Dolo is very threatening in attack or he could cut inside to his favorite left foot and they built a very good relationship. However, since then Diego Dolo has picked up an injury and he hasn't been getting in this team as much and I know Aaron Juan Bissaka has been getting praise and I've said this and I'll say it again. Juan Bissaka is nowhere near the level of Diego Dolo. I know many Man United fans are getting on the praise of Aaron Juan Bissaka. Listen, a very good one-on-one -on -one defender, but in possession, he he is not comfortable with the ball. And going forward, he does have these moments where he pops up with an assist too, but he's just not as threatening as Diego Dolo in attack. There's many aspects if you watch his game closely, even on this recent round where he's performed uh, very well, it still has just not been good enough and it also affects other players like Anthony. Small details make a very big impact and Aaron Wan-Bissaka is not as confident in going forward. He makes much less runs than Diego Dolo. Whenever Aaron Wan-Bissaka is looking for Anthony, Anthony is always receiving this ball with his back facing the fullback. He needs to be receiving the ball often where he can run at his defender, which happens very rarely in games. And when it does happen, it's always two on one, which we see so often because Aaron Wan Bissaka is just not as threatening going forward. What we would see when Diego Dolo was on the field, whenever Anthony had the ball, we would see play progressing forward because Diego Dolo would be making these threatening runs, giving Anthony options, allowing Anthony to be playing these one-twos. And this is um, the style of play which is used to at Ajax, who have attacking fullbacks in the system they played. And... With Aaron Juan Bissaka not as threatening going forward, you do see Anthony always, you do see Anthony playing the ball 
much back resulting play much more and everything is going down that left hand side much more often now don't get me wrong anthony could be doing much better he, he should be doing much better but to say anthony's a frog let me ask you this is chuck willish worth 100 million is mudrick worth 100 million is Darwin Nunes worth 100 million? Is Harry Maguire worth 80 million? How? No. And this is the football market that we're in today. And it's ridiculous, man. The, the Premier League are spending ridiculous amounts of money. And that's what they have to spend to get these types of players. And we need to stop judging players based on their price tag. I think it's, it's difficult. Because, like, you look at Liverpool, why right? Darwin Nunes and Cody Gakpo. Darwin Nunes will get more stick because he's worth 100 million. Although they're both being brought in to do very similar things in the attack. Every deal can't be a bargain. Is Did United overpay for Anthony? Yes, obviously. But Eric Ten Hag wanted the player and he's got his man. And I am very confident that Anthony will succeed at Manchester United. And what I really like about him that we haven't had in wingers in a very long time is he's someone that holds the width of the pitch. He's always making space. He's someone that hugs the touchline and allows uh, space and allows spaces to open up. So do not tell me Anthony is a flop because you are talking absolute rubbish. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.